Hey everyone, it's Emily. Today I'm going to be reviewing the desktop annotation functionality within Microsoft applications on the new line UB 65 inch panel. The first application we are going to take a look at is PowerPoint. Here we have a presentation completed by a student about their vacation in Japan that I would like to annotate over. To use the desktop annotation feature, simply swipe up from the bottom of the panel. This will bring up an overlay screen with different annotation options. Note that when there is an overlay, I cannot access any other PowerPoint tools or applications. To do so, I would have to exit this view completely. As you can see, I can annotate over the first slide, but know that I cannot add a new page because there is only one single overlay page. To write over the next slide, I must minimize the overlay, switch slides, reopen my overlay, and then erase the existing annotations so I can have a clean slate for the next slide. There is a screen capture option, however, it does not capture any of my annotations made in the overlay. In addition, none of these annotations can be saved, even as a separate document. The same remains true within presentation mode. I cannot even swipe through my slides without having to minimize the overlay. Now, I would run through how the desktop annotation feature works within other Microsoft applications, however, these same facts remain true. The desktop overlay allows me to write over my Excel sheets and Word documents, but none of my notes can be saved. My only options are to highlight or to write using a pen. I cannot even convert my notes to text. In other videos, I have concluded with reviewing the desktop annotation feature in a web browser. However, today, I'm going to skip that step. The overlay feature doesn't allow for text conversion or search capabilities, so I can only annotate the same way we can in Microsoft applications. Before we end today's video, I do want to touch upon IdeaMax, a specific application that Newline offers to further enable desktop annotation functionality. Users can download this software from the Newline's website, however, you must contact Newline's support team via phone to obtain a registration key. Thanks for joining me today to review Newline's desktop annotation capabilities. If you have any questions, email our PD team at onlinepd at tech.com or visit us at www.tech.com. This is Emily and I'll see you next time.